Seems like most of the fish I've got have been when that recorder's off. Oh, just kidding. What's going on guys? Today I'm down here at Beach Lake. It's uh, located right outside of Eagle River, Alaska, which is probably, I don't know, 16 miles outside of Anchorage. But uh, pretty small lake. Fishing game stocks it with uh, landlocked salmon, grayling, and trout, I believe. And they just recently stocked it with landlocked salmon. So they've been jumping right behind me here. <clears throat> They're not big, but there sure is a lot of them, so it should be pretty fun. Anyways, the uh, weather people said it was a 70% chance of rain, so they're right on point with uh, their job like normal. Looks like it's high clouds and getting sunny, but uh, I was kind of hoping one of these fish would jump. Anyways, they're out there, and I'm not, so I need to get in this boat and try to catch the fish. So as I was saying, sort through this mess. These fish are jumping right offshore, so now that everything's loaded. Might as well just give it a couple casts. See if I can't get something right off here, not even put the boat in. Stop it. Like I said, nothing huge, but fun. All right, let's get out on the boat. Just so you guys, just so you guys can see how many fish are underneath this boat, I'll give you a little show. This is crazy. Seventy percent chance of rain. Most people know. Just don't get it. Only profession you can be wrong almost all the time and still come to work the next day. Anybody is a weatherman that watches this, I'm sorry. But you know it's true. Moving on. Seems like most of the fish I've got have been when that recorder's off. Oh, just kidding. Is that a bad one? Good grief. Probably don't even need to have the boat to come here and fish. You could just fish right offshore catch a bunch at least here early on It'd be an awesome place to bring your kid there's tons 
just tons of fish. And as you can see, I'm floating myself right back to the launch. So the only thing that would be nice or that is nice about having this boat is that the whole shoreline there is just swamp, just a nightmare. And uh, yeah, a mess of being wet. But you don't really need it. It's a luxury at this point. everywhere in here. Just everywhere. You got a little too uh, much of a pain in the butt just spinning that canoe around so I figured I'd just park her and do a couple casts offshore seeing as that's where all these fish are anyways. Something I always do with these little fish, got my own tackle with the debarbed hooks because their mouths are tiny. Woo, there's a jumper. But uh, you're going to be spending a lot of time getting hooks out of mouths and possibly killing the fish because of how bad these treble hooks can tear up their mouth. Especially with the barbs on. Like I said, all day long. Not the biggest, but definitely better than being at work. You guys get the idea. Tons of fish, tons of wildlife, close to town. This guy went to town on this lure and uh, it's a really nice place. Great place for kids. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'll uh, hopefully be putting up a video here of surrounding lakes fairly soon. All right, guys, thanks. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, I sure liked fishing, and I like your support. Thank you.